Here's a tip to my fellow rock hounds. I don't really enjoy using acid on rocks, but in this case, it really helps distinguish what minerals I'm working with. Not only is it fun to dissolve rock with acid, it's a really good thing for educational purposes. It provides a great cleaning technique and will educate you on the mineralized zone you're working with. What you first want to do is put some distilled water in about, I would say, one-third muriatic acid. Drop your specimen in there. Make sure to wear gloves, eye protection. You don't want this on your hands and eyes. It can be quite dangerous. Here's the time lapse of the calcite dissolving away from around the quartz crystals. Hopefully to expose a druzy of quartz that nobody would have ever known was below this. I didn't want to bore you with this time lapse. It's pretty consistent fizzing for about six hours till you'll start to notice it slow down when all the calcite dissolves. This was about two hours from the finish. You can see it's slowly slowing down. There's still some calcite dissolving. Once everything is done, you then put some new clean distilled water in a tub Try and keep it about the same temperature as the other one. You don't want to move one rock from hot water to cold water, vice versa. That'll leave fractures and cracks in your specimen. So what I do here is using the distilled water, I add baking soda. By adding the baking soda, you're stabilizing and neutralizing the acid, which allows you to safely dispose of it down your drain or however you choose. With fresh distilled water, which has to be used to prevent the orange and yellow residue that will be left on your specimen, or you'll even notice it in the color of the water from the minerals leaching out of the water, that distilled water stabilizes and creates water clear cleaning. As you see here, the baking soda has slowly neutralized all the acid. Look at the specimen that has now come out from that first rock that was just bloated in calcite, covering and protecting those quartz crystals. Cleaning the specimen. After stabilizing and neutralizing, now you just need to soak it back in some fresh distilled water and baking soda for as long as you previously soaked it when dissolving the calcite. This removes all leftover acid that may be caught in the cracks and crevices of the rock. This is a really fun and educational process to help you identify and clean gems and minerals. Just make sure to not start with your best one. It's a learning curve when doing this. Hopefully this short video will prevent you from making some of the most common mistakes when breaking down and cleaning minerals with muriatic acid. Now that old man winter has closed the door on my prospect, most rock hounds know this is the time of the year for cleaning and prepping. I hope this short little video showed you something to make your winter cleaning a little more enjoyable and successful. Thank you for watching.